If you are looking into buying cheap and safe FIFA coins, look no further than footcoinshop.net. They have the fastest service, an incredible loyalty reward system, and the best prices around. Use my creator code INCEPTION when you sign up for your account and get a 5% discount with your order. Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here, and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to be talking about uh, the Centurion Team 2 cards that are basically leaked. One of my boys, not one of, but my boy is coming. Uh, I don't know how good he's going to be for this year's game, because honestly, in the beginning of the year, he's actually pretty decent to use. But um, obviously, an upgraded version of the card will definitely be a very interesting card to take a look at. So, uh, we have... Both of the accounts open here from uh, Run the Icon Market and Foot Sheriff. They're usually the guys that um, post the stuff. Foot Sheriff at some point stopped posting the leaks. I think he did like the Discord thing. I'm not really sure. Um, so that's when I was like, okay, we're good to go. And then we came back because obviously he's been posting them again. Anyways, Run the Icon Market has a few cards that he's already leaked in advance. Uh, one of them is going to be the Jamal Musiala card, right? So Musiala, as you guys know, uh, we actually used for a pretty decent amount of time up until the Elite Division. At some point, uh, I definitely felt like even in the video I mentioned how, you know, it's a card that I would have to probably change from eventually because he's going to be a little bit lackluster in certain areas. Because the thing about this card is that he's actually really, really nice, but he is six foot tall. So it does influence his dribbling capabilities, right? In the future, especially with the Centurion version of the card, if you can provide him with a Hunter chemistry style to have higher pace, higher shooting, base card stats for passing and dribbling being improved, it would be incredibly helpful because of that six foot height specifically, right? So what's cool about Musiala is that the technical plus that he has, very helpful, right? Trickster, Flare, First Touch, like this card still performs really well in game, but those base card stats being improved is definitely going to make a very big difference. Next card that we have here is going to be uh, Bonmari. Um, I don't know if she was leaked as like an SBC. I don't know if it was like an SBC or if it's going to be a regular transfer market card, but she is actually pretty decent. Very, very solid sentiment to use. Uh, reason being for this is because, you know, she's got four star skill. She's got a five star weak foot. Again, with the women with the body types being short and lean minus uh, smaller players at five foot three, you're basically using pro clubs characters. So with a card like this, there's a couple of different ways you could potentially use her. I think one of the main ways that people would use her is probably going to be like 4-3-2-1 type of formation using her as one of the center mids. Uh, you can see that she's still very expensive because she does provide you that link to someone like Hansen, right? Hansen is going to be like a really huge meta card to work with. Um, so in that midfield position, she can be used in those areas. Play styles obviously being a huge part of the game this year. Uh, really puts her up there as well, right? Because she's got technical plus, finesse shot, incisive pass, pings pass, tiki taka, first touch, relentless. A bunch of really, really cra crazy play styles to work with. So definitely could be a very, very solid card. Like I said, I'm not sure if she is an SBC or not. I think I saw something earlier saying that she was, but not 100% sure. Uh, Tony Kroos coming up as the new uh, Centurion card as well. He needs a massive pace boost, I would say. Yeah, his pace boost needs to be really, really big. And it needs to be a card that you can use a lengthy on. Because a card like this in this year's game, if you guys have used a card like Kone, for instance, right? Kone is actually a pretty solid storyline card. Um, that's why I mentioned to you guys in the review that compared to like the Mateo Shkunia, like Kone is going to be the more meta option. Uh, but with Tony Kroos, like if he's a controlled lengthy or a lengthy player by default, and, you know, it's a card that you're probably going to keep on stay back while uh, stay back while attacking, stay on the edge of the box of the cross, something like that. And you could pop in some long shots. I'm pretty sure he has like the play styles for it. Long ball pass, dead ball, incisive pass, whips pass, intercept, press proven. Do they not have like long shot play styles in this game? I don't know, actually. I've never really seen it. Long ball pass, though. Interesting. I guess they just use the, the long shots as like the the base thing to look at, right? But yeah, Kroos definitely needs a uh, a nice improvement in that pace department for sure, 100%. This is my boy right here, bro. Check out my boy, bro. Check out my boy. This is my boy. Who gets links to so many cards, bro. Even the new Witzel storyline card this uh, this month, it's gonna be, uh, be kind of saucy, bro. This, this is gonna be a really sought after SBC, I think, because 
of the links because of you know people going with Messi and their team and stuff because he's Argentinian. It's gonna be interesting because I might try him out on like a 3-4-2-1 formation where he's played as like the right forward because the right forward basically sometimes acts like the striker that pushes forward. So it'll be cool, man. It'll definitely be very interesting to see what they do to the card because I did use uh, this card earlier in the year, the Angel Correa card, uh, rare gold version, and he was actually pretty solid to use in the beginning of the year, right? Because look at how he's formatted for the Hunter chemistry saw, right? Pace is there, shooting is there. Dribbling stats is interesting because he's an average body type player, but it's going to be hard to say now because I tried him out a while ago, but I want to see what his dribbling is going to be like on the new card, which is apparently going to be an SBC. So if that's released on Friday, that's going to be a really big deal. They should have released a card today on Thursday. I don't know why they wouldn't because they're going to release like four or five cards on a Friday. It's I hate that they do that. It's so stupid, but a new play style would definitely be nice, like a finesse shot or something. You know, press uh, even if it's like a quick step or a rapid to kind of make him feel faster as well, because he's five foot seven. So by default, it's a card that's not going to be an art trigger merchant. Like he's probably going to be someone that you have to use in like close spaces. Right. So uh, but yeah, Correa definitely has a lot of potential for sure. Definitely see him being a very solid option. He's going to be in my team for sure. This is this is where it gets interesting. Right. So Timo Werner. So if you did the Founders version of the card, GG's, right? But the Founders is if you can improve in the future, maybe, right? But Timo Werner, it kind of makes you want to do like a concept video of using Timo, uh, Timo Werner with Correa and the same exact team where it's like, give me Correa and Timo Werner gameplay or I'll retire, you know, something like that. Uh, just for the fun of it. But Werner uh, on the Founders, he was okay. Again, with, with the Founders cards in general, I feel like when you got to a certain point, they weren't as ideal to work with, especially this card, right? So he has the five star weak foot, which is obviously a really big deal, um, especially uh, on a finisher chemistry style to boost the shooting as much as possible. But um, with the Centurion card, I don't think it's going to be upgraded in that way. I don't think it's going to have the five star weak foot and stuff, right? Because the rare gold version um, only has the four star weak foot. So who knows? Maybe the Centurion card, maybe they give him like a four star, four star. I don't know. I don't know what uh, direction they're going to head uh, with that. But Timo Warner could be an interesting card for sure. I haven't actually tried him out this year. I have his founders on my SBC accounts just in case I need like reviews for like the Bundesliga players in the future. But I haven't really like tried him, tried him. You know what I'm saying? So if that situation ever presents itself, then that'd be fine, obviously. Um, yeah. So let's see here. We have Timo Warner. We have Tony Kroos. Do, 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 do. We have Williamson, center back, 79 pace. I mean, if she doesn't have like, because it, it's a it's a woman's center back, so that's going to be chalked, man. Yeah, five, seven, not worth looking into that. Um, It's always the body types and the heights. Like if you're playing defense, like there's this new inform card where she has the body type for it. This card right here. So Renard, this card, like, in the future, if she gets any sort of like card in the future, like on a shadow chemistry style, having the pace, having the defensive stats, um, you know, she's six foot two. She has a high and average plus body type, like cards like that. Sure. But not the Williamson card. That's like more for uh, for Nep if he chooses to, to get that card. You know what I'm saying? Um, let's see if there's anything else here. So obviously Foot Sheriff has released a lot of the icon cards we can clearly see. So let's just keep it going down here. OK, so these are the cards here that are, I mean, to be fair, basically fodder. I don't know what Lekka is like. He could be decent, but I have no idea. So Jude Bellingham is released as a player of the month card because he did win the recent voting. Bellingham is definitely going to be a card that I would I would probably recommend to people. Like, honestly, you have to think of, you have to think of it like this. This this inform card is 385K. If the SPC is like 500, 600K or something, like it's most likely going to be recommended because Bellingham in game is actually really nice. Um, the play style that he has, Relentless and stuff, like these are all really cool play styles. A good box to box midfielder. But the Trailblazers one's kind of crazy because he has Technical Plus, right? Technical Plus is a really huge trade to work with. I would honestly be surprised to not see pro players using this card. I would be very, very surprised because Technical is a really huge way of dribbling in this game over the left stick like crazy so that's gonna be um a really big player of the month spc looking forward to that especially as a content creator specifically as a content creator 
Uh, Vintage SPC, honestly, it could potentially be another card that I might recommend because Vintage actually... Because here's the thing, man. Vintage had a card last year or two years ago, something like that, where he just had really good defensive animations. Like, sure, his pace was low, but for this year's game, like, if you were to give a Shadow Chemistry style to this guy with those defensive stats, with those physical stats, but then look at that. You, you know what I'm saying? Like, look at that. Sly Taco Plus. I don't care too much about that, but it's the jockey. It's the block. It's the bruiser. It's the aerial. Like, all of those, that's where it's really crazy to work with, right? Sly Taco Plus is really nice, but you don't want to Sly Tackle too much in this game, right? So it's definitely, like, really last-ditch tackles that you're going for if you actually do end up using the Sly Tackle. But obviously, going to be a pretty big SBC for the most part, right? Um, what else we got here? Should have a few more cards here. Okay, so Azebu. Uh, I actually tried out the regular Azebu card. Regular Azebu is actually good this year. He's actually like fun to use. Because every single year I use the card, I'm going to be honest with you, like he bothered me way too much. Like I just didn't enjoy the card. Every single year he was just annoying to use because his average body type would influence the card too much. But I've gotten this card... I would say two times in the draft and he's actually nice now so if i were to pack him in some sort of like icon sbc in the future he would be really really sick especially with the five star week for high medium work rates like this card is really really well formatted like for the most part um so obviously centurion version is gonna be for people that gets it's extremely lucky in the game zico so zico it's funny man i haven't tried out zico yet i <laughs> i'm gonna be honest i have not even seen this card yet this zico card right here i haven't seen him yet you know what I might have to do, guys, on the weekdays where the content is, like, not as busy? I might have to play, like, a lot of drafts so I can collect footage for the icons. Because I have collected footage for, you know, players like Azebu and stuff. And, like, as time goes on, like, they don't, they're not uploads that grow right away. But over time, they would, right? So, you know, if we play more drafts, we can definitely get our hands on some of these cards. What does Azebu have for playstyles? He has Rapid, Power Shot, and Quick Step. So it just makes him fast. The, the 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 rapid plus makes him fast, and the quick step is a is a thing too. Yeah, like I said in previous years, his Zebu was mad annoying to use. Man, it used to bother me. I'm like, oh my god, this guy's like such a beast, and they just format him like garbage. Uh, but Zico, Zico looks pretty cool. I haven't seen him in the game one time yet. So obviously, if people do have this card in their team, it would have to be from Extreme Luck. But he's got Dead Ball, Tiki Talk, a Technical Flare, Trivella. Like he's got a lot of crazy stuff to work with. Uh, with the five star five star capabilities so very nice stuff there my boy my boy claude claude makalele um he's my boy but meta for fifa wise i'm gonna tell you this right now by default it's probably more ideal to have a physical tall player however i have not tried him this year so i can't fully say that just yet okay because he could still be pretty decent to work with he is a smaller player but who knows? Maybe if you give him a Shadow Chemistry style, he has like the crazy defensive capabilities. With the new card, it's going to be a little bit different because you're probably going to be able to give him an Anchor Chemistry style depending on how they improve him. Um, or his base card stats for defense would be so high that you'd probably just give him a Catalyst. But you guys know me, I'd probably still give him a Shadow anyways because have to have the defense as perfect as possible, especially at a smaller player like this with five foot nine heights, right? But that's my boy, bro. Michael is my boy. Uh, Zanetti... Zanetti's always kind of like, whatever. I don't know, man. This one's a weird one. I feel like they could do a much better job with this card. You know, like by default. Shadow Chemistry Style. This one I could see, like, with the future improvement, I could see it being a little bit decent. Jumping needs to be, like, crazy improved. I could see him being okay because he actually has interesting stuff, right? He's got the average body type, the 5 foot 10 heights, but the physical stats and stuff, I'm not feeling too much not feeling too much especially the jumping man because if someone goes for the far post like you're chalked like that's just a chalk situation what play styles does he have relentless is good power shots who cares jockey yes anticipate yes press proven yes all those are really nice for defense actually so he could be pretty decent trezeguet trezeguet was an interesting one because last year when they released that sbc version of his card especially during the whole lengthy meta thing he was actually okay to use i don't i don't like using physical strikers that much in general but trezeguet was actually pretty decent he was actually pretty decent i don't know if he's gonna feel the same way this year because i'd prefer to not use physical strikers that much this year at all um unless it's like i would honestly say unless it's like a darwin nunez honestly 
like because that guy he has the right play styles to really push him uh acrobatic power header aerial that's more for fun i would say he's got like physical presence in the air it's for the people that like to cross the ball i guess so could definitely be an interesting one too uh zico cole cole could de definitely be a nice one because he's actually formatted a certain way where he could be decent but he's probably gonna lack in physical i would say because they always give him like really bad physical stats let's see yeah see so strength strength department guys i'm telling this right now man you want physical stats in your fullbacks. It's very, especially in this meta where people are just constantly just always going for that uh, driven pass on the inside of the 18 yard box in the side area for the cutback, like, you know, but play styles wise, he's got a lot of cool stuff to work with, right? He's got whipped pass, block, slide tackle, technical, Trivella, a card like this on a balanced instruction playing the left back position could actually be a very, very nice card. So it looks like a... Uh, it looks like it has some potential there. Um, and then I think that might be pretty much it. This card don't care too much about. Chiesa, Chiesa will definitely be a really interesting card. Yeah, because Chiesa has his whole, um, like this Nike card. I think he even got a, like an Evolutions card too. But uh, Chiesa is actually pretty decent. Like if you're, if you're building like a Serie A team, and you're using this card in the side position. He wasn't bad to use in the beginning of the year. Uh, reason being for this, though, is because, sure, sure the dribbling set up the way that it is, but he's got a unique body type, right? Which is a very, very key thing to look at. With the new card, I'm assuming you could probably give him, like, a Hawk because they would improve the base card stats for dribbling to be higher while working with the unique body type. And he's got rapid, quick step, so he's a fast player as well. Finesse shot, uh, Trivella, really, really good stuff to work with there. Um, as well uh, Correa again was one of the leaks or the main links and then that's pretty much it guys so yeah it definitely looks like a lot of very interesting cards coming I'm more interested in that Correa card more than anything else to be honest with you guys because Correa is my boy and I'm very curious to see how he's gonna play I actually didn't even bother playing division rivals or anything like that on that other accounts because I'm like I actually refuse to play this game without Correa in my squad <laughs> I'm not even joking like I need Correa for me to even bother trying that stuff out but um yeah that's pretty much it guys hopefully you guys enjoy this video today I'll see you guys for the content tomorrow peace out dudes love you guys